tech robot here. <laughs> Hot weather just continues. Anyway, I'm um, doing C development on the Amiga, so I thought I'd just go through a, a quick setup. Well, uh, when it comes to C, there's no quick setup, but a, a setup at least where you can get started. So um, let's take a look. So I'll put like links in the uh, comments for all the stuff that I'm talking about, but uh, we're going to um, be using VBCC, which is the basis for the operations cross-compile. So this is a portable ISO C uh, compiler. So let's go get it. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, then you can pick up two items. There's the documentation if you'd like to have that and then we need this one here which is the multi target windows version so you download this one and put it into a yeah, basically into a folder of your choice I'll, I'll be using one, one specific folder for everything that's going to be set up so if you want to follow the video then you can do the same so extract this to one folder as a starting point so, to be able to um, run this package, then you need to um, set up some stuff. So, what I did is I just created a simple bat file. So, um, let's have a look at that. So, what this does is it just sets up an environmental variable VBCC and points to the directory where, where I extracted the basic VBCC um, content. And then it's to um, set the path so that it um, points to the bin directory under VBCC and you like when you go into the command prompt then you <coughs> you run this as the first task then you get the correct um, environmental setup or you could actually put this in the environmental setup for windows so of course so you have it by default but uh, in, in my case since I have so many different environments I like to actually initialize this manually so when you're doing C development, then often you get other like multiple files that you have to handle, and lots of examples that you find. And I actually use so-called make files, which is basically a special scripting file to um, compile the components and put everything together to be able to reduce the final executable. So in in, in this case, I suggest you add make um, to be uh, to the um, VBCC because it doesn't actually come with make by default so in my case I just took the generic GNU make GNU ver version so if you go to this site and you scroll down and you need to, um, you need to take two packages one is the binaries and the other one is the dependencies so the, the binary is actually the compiled version of make and then the uh, dependencies uh, it's two um, DLLs. And you should um, copy these to the um, VBCC bin directory so that they're all the binary files are in the same, same location. So, next phase is to actually pick up something that is Amica specific because now what we've downloaded VBCC and um, the make, it, it doesn't know anything about Amiga. I mean, it has the capabilities to do. Um, Cross compiling that means that you can run the compiler and the processes on your Windows machine, but it, it, it and it knows how to do, um, uh, put out Motorola um, M64K and hunk, hunk type um, binaries and stuff, but it, it doesn't actually have anything, th there's nothing Amiga specific in that. So, what we need to do is we need to go and um, uh, get the um, Amiga specific development components and the easiest way to do that is, and I'll put the link in the description, is to get the um, the Amiga um, developer CD and in this case it's the version 2.1. There are other versions, it doesn't really matter for the, <laughs> for the applications that I'm going to demonstrate here but you, you, I recommend that you get this. So um, what I did is I extracted the I retrieved the ISO and then I copied all the files under VBCC. So here you see in this directory and they basically you might be interested in reading uh, this text document just for, just for general information. But I mean we are mostly interested in the um, developer kit um, 
packages that are here. So as you see, the, there are the um, developer kit packages for different versions of the um, Go OS. So you know, pretty much cover it, everything that Commodore ever, cr ever created. So. So, so what I did is I um, keeping this directory or the CD ISO image in, in this location. So I. Um, the examples that I used, then it's um, this uh, developer kit that we need. So I copied this one directly under uh, VBCC, so we have it here, just just for clarity. So of course it's not much fun having a development package if you um, can't compile stuff. So um, what I did is I uh, retrieved this. Um, uh, all the files in this one, and the way you do that is you take click on code and then you can actually um, um, pull this down as a full zip file so so I just been pick this one up so following the same theme just to keep things interested I didn't even change the name of the um, download zip file so I just put it directly under VBCC as public main so how do you get the structure here so it makes it easy to find also I noticed that in some in when I downloaded it, uh, then you get VB, you get public, when you extract you get public main, and then you get another public main, and then you get the structure, so I removed the uh, extra level. So just as a comment for the, because I'm going to use the Amiga emulator to run these examples, so I mapped the Amiga emulator, um, one of the disks, to directly to this VBCC directory. So let's do some fun stuff. So now um, everything's set up from the development package and Amiga package perspective. So then um, just start the command prompt and then I come in here and then I just run my set um, VCC command and then it sets the environmental variable and then it um, makes the path. So now we're going to have a look at the first project in the Amiga. The directory, and look what we can find, and then we see we have a make file, and that is what is going to be used as input to make. So, and as you see now, it's new stuff created. You have hello, oh, and then we have a look, and we also have hello.exe. So, let's go and have a look at this in the emulator and see if it actually works. So now we're in the emulator, and as you see, we have an additional disk VBCC workbench. To the shell. Mm, let's see how many times I can write this wrong. when I can get stuff to work on the Amiga. But anyway, here you see is a very brief example of um, Hello World application, basically for console applications, or let's say Amiga shell applications. So, so this is doesn't in, uh, involve using any graphics or anything. So the absolute very simplest um, app you can make. So now for the next example in the same package, which is called Hello Intuition. So this involves the more like the handling the graphics. And for that one I needed a bit of extra energy because this has a bit of problems, a problem that needed to be fixed first. So let's have a look. So this actually has an issue in the make file which will make it fail to compile. So let's have a look at that. So here we actually see C flags the original C flags has a very subtle difference in the naming of the NDK directory. 
and the um, includes directory. And since the directory that I'm that we're using is from the official Commodore developer kit CD, then I actually have no idea why what they were referring to when they have. But anyway, as you see, there's a subtle correction needed to stop this from failing. So, let me try and make. And again, we seem to get some object files, so this is a good sign when you get this .o files, and then it means that it compiles uh, complete. And here we see we got this one here. Now, the, for some odd reason in the make file, they actually they didn't call the executable, they didn't call it um, hello intuition.exe or just hello intuition, they called it hi. <laughs> uh, no, no idea why. Sort of inconsistent. But anyway, let's go to the emulator and see if it works. So, I saved you the bother of watching me right, right in the path. Let's see if it actually works. Oh, there you are. Simple hello intuition window popped up and that's what we expect. So this is a kind of really the most basic of basic frameworks for um, the, uh, utilizing the um, windowing capability of Amiga. So, so that's two projects compiled and executed. And they both seem to um, work. <laughs> Amazing. So, anyway, as you saw, I was very practical, just focusing on the, you know, how to get the system up and running as quick as possible, compile two projects, so you, so you can get directly into shell programming or directly into um, intuition UI programming, uh, you know, really the starting point. But um, if you actually really want to have a little bit more in-depth view of this, then I recommend this article. Um, and I'll put the link in the in the description. So this is start with C programming on Amiga. It's a, it's more it's a more in depth you know, kind of explaining different things and the, the details of VBCC components and uh, yeah, lots of stuff. So uh, that I actually excluded in the video for pur on purpose because I just wanted to uh, really get to the point, sort of focus on it. But um, for those that are interested. Um, can actually recommend this. So that was the summary of that. So now we can have dessert. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful and um, get you kick started on the development and um, yeah. Hey, we'll see you in the next one.